Hi guys, so this is SBV proposal presentation of group 7 about study of diversity and coverage of grass species to study the effect of human disturbance on grass to study the effect of dust and carbon monoxide from nearby road disturbance on grass to study the coverage of grass the research question are how many grass species exist on the particular place are grasses growth affected by human disturbance are grasses growth affected by dust and carbon monoxide from the nearby road and the last one is what is the coverage of grass so the study area that we choose are the first one Taman Tualang Tanjung Tualang Perak Sekolah Rendah Agama Integrasi Seksyen Semangat Syah Alam Selangor Jalan Pakat 1 Batu Lapan Ijuk Selangor Kampung Kemumin Kota Baru Kelantan Taman Sancin Kucing Sarawak So these are the sampling methods that were used during performing the field work. The location was identified and the study area is 10 meter times 4 meter was measured by using a measuring tap. Square shape quadrat was selected and the size of a quadrat is 1 meter times 1 meter. The quadrat was marked by using a raffia rope. The quadrat was numbered and randomly chose by picking out a random number. The number of species and the number of indi individuals per quadrat was identified. As shown on the slide, so these are the materials that were used during performing the field work. The first one is measuring tape. The measuring tape is used to measure the size of a quadrant during performing the quadrant sampling. Scissors, nails, and hammer are used during the marking of each quadrant by using the raffia rope. And pencil and paper is used to record the data that is obtained from the fieldwork. Here on this slide is the step of the quadrant sampling. Step 1 is determine the quadrant shape. We have chosen the quadrant shape we'll be using is square. Step 2 is determine the quadrant size. As shown on the graph, each quadrant has 1 meter times 1 meter quadrant size. Step 3 determine the number of quadrant. We have 4 meter length times 10 meter width equal to 40 meter square. 40 meter square is equivalent to 40 quadrants times 10% equal to 4 quadrants. Therefore, we will be conducting the quadrant sampling on 4 quadrants. The fourth step is quadrant placement. Is using the random sampling by using the random number method. Next is the transect sampling. On this sampling, we had chosen to use the ladder transect method, which is recording in quadrants at interval along the transect line. The picture showed is the draft of our transect sampling on the fieldwork. There are two types of health precautions that you need to follow before doing the fieldwork. It is before fieldwork and during fieldwork. First, before fieldwork, you need to identify the hazard at the fieldwork. Second, you need to wear proper attires and bring minimum equipment to fieldwork activities. During fieldwork, you need to avoid hazard at the fieldwork. Second, you need to follow the guideline and the procedure of the fieldwork activities. One is time management. The time for this project is expected in one day which a couple project site preparation. Di mana kita orang menyiapkan fieldwork ini dalam satu hari sahaja dan satu hari itu mencukupi untuk kita orang menyiapkan fieldwork mengenai spesies rumput. The estimate for hours to complete the project. Kita orang anggarkan project ini complete dalam masa 4 jam sahaja. 
dan kita orang telah menyediakan satu jadual untuk memudahkan kita orang dalam membuat kerja iaitu start pada 9 pagi hingga 10 pagi kuadrat sampling measurement dan pukul 11 pagi pula transit sampling measurement dan pukul 12 petang hingga 3 petang masa kita orang rest dan 4 petang data collection 5 petang data analyze 6 petang jadi up the project site dan fluid kita orang selesai dan itu sahaja daripada kami sekian terima kasih thank you for watching and thank you also for listening to the presentation from us